Alameda County has a new chief. Dr. Donna Carey is the first African-American woman chief of pediatrics for Highland Hospital. And we are here on her first day to shine a spotlight on this great accomplishment. Dr. Donna Carey, spotlight. So being the first African-American chief of pediatrics at Highland Hospital, um, is of great significance. I think because of the, pop, the patient population that we serve, that we serve predominantly black and brown people, I think it's important for them to see black and brown people at all levels, from their providers as well as from their leaders. Um, as an African-American female, I know that when I see another African-American female, there's experiences um, that I know we have in common and that I can understand without her having to explain to me um, why things might be difficult for her in labor, why she might be deferring to her mother instead of answering the questions herself. These are just things that you just know because you live them. And I think it's also important that their children see me and say, you know, I, they may not want to be a doctor, but that they can recognize that they can become a leader in whatever field or whatever area they decide to go into. I have always known since third grade that I wanted to be a doctor, that I wanted to be a pediatrician particularly. After I finished um, undergrad, medical school at UCLA, and then I took a year off because I wanted to just have some time, a break. Went to um, medical school and then did my residency at Children's Oakland. And I've always known that I didn't want to be a practicing physician. That has always been very clear to me that I think my strengths are in creating programs and creating policies and sort of being a larger visionary in health. And so in my second year of residency, I received a fellowship, a Robert Wood Johnson fellowship to do um, academic studies in adolescent medicine. Then I met my husband and decided not to go down that, that path. So instead, I did an adolescent medicine fellowship at UCSF. Always, again, thinking broader um, for my work, but not quite sure exactly how it was all going to fit in. After I did my residency, there was a new field of medicine created called hospital medicine. Well, we are hospital-based physicians, and that came right at the end of my residency. So. In 2001, when I finished residency, I immediately became a, what's called a hospitalist, a hospital-based physician. And that's really where my practice of medicine has been for the last 15 years. Through just connections and working and talking to people, uh, I was recruited to become a medical director of a pediatric hospitalist program in Turlock. So I took the job out in Turlock, commuted for five years, had an apartment and a whole sec second house set up in Turlock with my daughter uh, and a nanny and myself would go for three or four days at a time to Turlock and then we would come back to Oakland and I had a couple days off and then we would go back to Turlock and we did that for five years. In the meantime, I had an another child, I had my son. And so that commute then became difficult. My daughter was starting kindergarten, now I have a son. So my daughter and my husband would stay in Oakland, my son, myself, and a nanny would go to Turlock, and it just became too disruptive for the family. So I actually quit that job and started working in various places. And so July 1st, I formally accepted the position, and now I'm the new chief of pediatrics. So right now, the Department of Pediatrics is underneath the Division of Maternal Child Health. And so in pediatrics, um, I'm a chief of pediatrics. There's a chief of gynecology and a chief of obstetrics. And so as chief of pediatrics, I have currently a staff of 15 physicians, but there are two that I'm trying to recruit, <laughs> which will bring me up to 17 physicians. Uh, I oversee both the inpatient uh, part of pediatrics, so the labor and delivery. As pediatricians here at Highland, we attend every delivery. 
Uh, we have a neonatal ICU that's licensed for eight beds, and we take care of all of the well babies who have been delivered. So pretty busy. And then in the outpatient, we have a, a full outpatient pediatric clinic that has five providers, um, all who work part-time. So it's a moving schedule. So it's not one provider that's there every day. There's different providers that are there five days a week, Monday through Friday. And we also have Saturday clinic and Sunday clinic. So our outpatient pediatric clinic operates seven days a week. And we have inpatient pediatricians seven days a week.